All right, and welcome to a low budget. Let's check out Activision for the NES. Oh, no, Die Hard, Part Two. This is Ron Moore along with the Wii guy. Hey, I'm back. And John McClane is back, and oh, he gets shot already. Yeah, but you shot him back. It was like freaking Wild Wild West. Not the movie though. Yeah. Uh, imagine Wild Wild West for the NES. <laughs> Wild West for the NES. Yeah. No, so, it'd be more for like the Genesis or 64. Imagine, Wait, wasn't that 2000s actually? Yeah. I think, no, nine. Wild Wild West came out in 98, 99, I think. Really? Early 90s? Hmm. I always thought it was like early 2000s. No, late 90s, I think. Well, either way, it would but, probably be for PlayStation 1 then. <laughs> yeah. And Die Hard for the NES, I think. Uh, Die Hard is like, I don't think this would be a kid's game. I mean, I, we should probably start doing kid's games on here. But we should just, I think we actually talk about starting a new channel, SC2K, or uh, SC2K Kids, or call it SC2 Kids. <laughs> yes, because it's, it's two kids to you, kids. Me and you are the kids, and now, um, you're Bear, kidding me. Bear procreates <laughs> and has two kids. Oh, and... oh geez, him procreating? That's that's a bad idea. And we're gonna do Barney LPs. Uh, oh, Jinty would be all over this. <laughs> Barbie LPs, even though we already did that before, but not um. We just convert it over. We'll just delete it off this channel, <laughs> or yeah. not this channel, the SCK channel. Yeah. This is Rommer's channel. <laughs> all right, Flow Thirty Four. Mm, creepy elevator music. Excuse me, flow? <laughs> You're ruining the flow of the Vic commentary. Yeah. <laughs> what is that right there? Is that a ATM or... Oh, wait. It's a soda machine. Dang, I'm trying to... Man, that's why I like going ATM and convenience stores get robbed. Are you trying to go to ATM machine? Or maybe you were trying to get a Pepsi and he was like, I love Coke better. Yeah. Freaking Coke get fan boys. <laughs> They're all, on Coke. On Coked up, yeah. I'm Pepsi up. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. I actually asked that question to my family. They're all Coke people. I'm the only Pepsi guy. Yeah. Uh, Pepsi well. guy. Pepsi guy. 309. <laughs> yep. New channel. There we go. We drinks. Well, we eats is already with drinks. Just. Oh. I just eat. Eating in yeah. general is uh, feeding and drinking. Yeah. It's all the same, but whatever. All right. Let's see if I can actually hit this guy when he comes out the door. See, look. Okay, there we go. Well, good thing you have unlimited. Wait, bullets? <laughs> no, do you? I think I do. You do? I thought you were just shooting a bunch at the freaking elevator. It's like, oh yeah. Yeah. I just waste them. Oh yeah. I can't go to the thirtieth floor. Yeah. Can't what? go with guns blazing. There's a game genie code. You can do that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I've been. I think I've been here everywhere before. I'm, I already don't know what to do. I'm just. How about you? Uh, how about you open a present on the Christmas tree. <laughs> yeah. Get some friggin' bullets. Yeah, I got a package from Wee Guy. <laughs> now you said this game was distributed at Toys R Us, or? Yeah, Toys R Us. Is a exclusive December 1991 deal or whatever. Wait, Toys R Us? Yeah. I mean Toys R Us. Oh. Yeah, I guess you're right, actually. <laughs> I just called it Toys R Us because that's just naturally how I want to say it. You mean they didn't distribute them at Target? No, but they probably did tar for Target Renegade. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it never gets old. I want this game really, uh, just like, I guess Friday 13, Nightmare on Elm Street, and Die Hard, Radar Movies. What they, you know, is that part of the Target audience to Target to the kids, or...? <laughs> <laughs> no. What about Target Renegade? Is that targeted <laughs> the target audience right there? It's targeted for awesome people like me. <laughs> well, I don't know about that, but... Hey, and... Yeah. Uh, you know how I mentioned last time about 8-Bit Stereo this game, how it couldn't be done? Yeah. Well, now it can be done, because I fixed the expansion sound chip problem, if I mentioned that. Nice. So, 8-Bit Stereo Die Hard is coming soon, along with other greats like Platoon and Wolverine. Shameless plug. Always right. shameless. Uh-oh. As I wander around aimlessly in life, and I run into trouble... Aimsley? Like Aim Rick Aimsley? Aim Aim aimlessly. Rick Ames, or... Agent <laughs> Ames from Metal Gear Solid, I forgot. <laughs> yes, exactly. 
this is this is ridiculous. At least you kill in one shot. I guess trying to be fair to the challenge. Look at that, man. They got spray guns and stuff. I still got the regular gun from Contra. Wait, you got the? Oh yeah, you got the regular gun. I was about to say they looks like they got the spread gun. Yeah. It's unfair. You don't give the enemies the upgrades. You give me the upgrades. Yeah. All right, man. I guess there's no. Why can't I go on the first floor? Well, that's where the terrorists are. Ready? Well, that's the 30th floor, not the first floor. Well, maybe you needed there's different elevators that take you to the separate sections of the floor. Why can't there be one universal elevator? Because that's just not how it works, Ronnie. Well, if there's universal soldier. Why can't there be a universal elevator? Ah, oh, dang it. You see that? Man, hide behind the door. That's cheap. Why can't you let me know you're coming? Because that's the universal rule of death. <laughs> well, how about you universally shut up and... Oh, oh. We're gonna get sued by Universal Studios. Yeah. Oh, what, now, what, what did he freeze me with a stun gun? What did he do? I think that's a flash grenade. Oh, okay. Oh, reload. Because as you know, flash grenades stun you. <laughs> yeah. Well, in a so, sense. So he flashed himself and... Okay. He's trying to get flashman powers. Look, he's real flashy over here. Yeah, yeah. Man, look at this. What? Wait a minute. Jeez. Oh, I'm out of bullets. Well, better start punching. You always need bullets. Oh, Stop come on. Man, I forgot they can shoot the that stuff glass. Come on, I can't shoot through glass in real life. All right, let me see. Uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm like stuck. The... Look at this. Okay, well, man. Uh, nothing. I don't know. No, I got no other weapon to use. Peace till. Now uh, feet meter's going down because you know, and walk across the glass and the agony of defeat. Yeah, you know, you can't walk across the glass because that's not going to cut it. Oh wait, yeah, it will. And ah, man, the cheese. Yeah. And I'm st uh, still out of bullets right here. Oh, this is. Come on, man. Bring a fist to a gunfight. Man, get hammered. I need about 10,000 fists right here. I'm getting disturbed. You need like a fistful of bullets. Yeah. No fistful of dollars will help you here. Yeah, really. Unless you can bribe them. So what from what I see, you seem to be... Oh yeah, because every time you die, you start over, start the game over. Yeah. Jeez, that's a hard difficulty. Yeah. Well... It's not called Die Hard for nothing, I guess. Yeah, oh dang it. Someone's coming up the elevator. Let me... Wait a minute, what's... Listen, listen to that, hold on. I guess that's them walking. Da, 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 da. I would have guessed it was a part of the soundtrack. <laughs> no. <laughs> da, 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 da. Extra beats. I think that's the terrorist walking, because I heard the elevator noise. Time some elevator action. Yep. Dun dun. Oh wait. It's not the it's not the dramatic panic music. Ah. Man, I bet there's someone so skilled at this that they can just aim in one direction, fire one bullet. Yeah. There's people ah. out there. Yeah. James Franco, go check out the 32nd floor. Thanks, Alan Rickman. Did I say Alec Rickman? <laughs> Alan Rickman. Yeah. I like Alec Baldwin, no. What was that part of the movie where you shot, you shot the boss, the Japanese guy in the head? Give me the code, Mr. Ayakawa, whatever his name was. I, I can't do it. Okay. Ayasaki. I, I remember, I, I like when he shot that douchebag cokehead in the head. That's not, he deserved that. Did he? Yeah, that I thought he could negotiate with the terrorists, and John McClane goes, Tell him you don't know me! They're gonna kill you! Tell him you don't know me! Oh, yeah. He sips his coke, and psh, gets blasted in the head. Now it's a douche. You know what they say, kids? Don't do coke. Yeah. Alright, well... I really don't know what to do. I'm just, like, aimlessly wandering around, and hopefully I can figure something out. And... Oh, wait. <laughs> Same floor. Ah, dang it, forgot. Come on, don't you know that you're going to the floor of destiny? Yeah. You're destiny's child, man. Live up to it. 
John McClane, come well, on! Well, I death shot right here. Uh, <laughs> from uninvited? Yeah, well... I'm done. So that's the end of Low Budget Let's Check Out. Die Hard wow. for the NES, and I can tell you right off the bat, this is a lot better so far than uh, freaking Lethal Weapon for NES and uh, SNES, especially the SNES version. I mean, uh, the one in the NES looks okay for simple action, but this one looks more uh, more of a gameplay, more action to it. And uh, um, yeah, I think I just like this one better than. Uh, so I was really think about my last low budget let's check out of the SNES version of Lethal Weapon. That sucked. That game sucks. This one don't really get on my nerves. It's kind of BS hard. It seems like at first, but I mean, it seems like more of a challenge to it, more complex things to do, and no stupid broken controls and. Uh, kind of a stupid soundtrack like the SNES version had, and, or at least the one track I heard on on on, <laughs> on the SNES version of Lethal Weapon. Um, I don't know if there's a SNES version of Die Hard, is there? Mm, don't think so. Not that I remember. Um, but this game right here, it seems pretty like it gets me kind of interested in playing it and check and really checking out more of it. Um, so. Yeah, I think I will check out more of it and, uh, you know, see what I can, how far I can get. And I may check out YouTube when I need help, of course. And this game doesn't seem too bad. Um, I know AVGN pretty much made fun of it. But that's probably because, uh, I guess, because the way it's kind of r r ridiculous hard at first. Because, you know, they're shooting at you, all these uh, the guns are blazing, you know. It's, it's like, man, really? It's like, already? And it kind of seems unfair, but, uh, but at the same time, it just seems like a game where, Really fun to get into, challenge-wise, and um, yeah. So I know there's much more to this game than what you've seen. I look forward to playing more of it. And I love the soundtrack so far in the game. Uh, not that bad. So yeah. And plus, I love the first Die Hard movie, and I kind of want to watch the first movie now after playing this game. So yeah. Uh, so far, for a first impression, I might give this game eh, maybe a seven out of ten. Wow, that's interesting. Considering that, like, with this game, it's, like, opposite ends with, like, uh, Lethal Weapon you compare it to. Like, this game is brutal hard, but Lethal Weapon's, like, brutal easy, basically. Because, I mean, you relatively made it from stage to stage fairly simple until that one boss kicked your, kicked your ass. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, I haven't actually played this game. I, uh, I definitely need to. Of course, I want the car, but it's... It's un very uncommon, as I said before. Exclusive 1991 December Toys R Us offer. There you go. <laughs> and it'll, I'll probably have to shout out a lot for this game. But from what I've seen, especially from maybe a GN's review, which, of course, you know, he always exaggerates many aspects of a game for the comedic effect, even if it's, you know, true, which some cases of Die Hard are. But I think I would enjoy this game. You know, it's I'm one for, like, yeah, give me the give me the hard difficulty. I'm pretty sure I would love trying to just manage my way getting through the game, avoiding all that spread of hellfire. Yeah, just you know, being the game, being it, and you know, it's it's it got a. It's, it's interesting how they went overhead with this uh, packing video. I think it actually kind of works. It's a nice variety because. They've done a lot of variety, you know, they made Predator, which they made side-scrolling, and at times the big mode, which is, you know, I don't know, kind of like a side-scrolling shooter, or on-rail, whatever. Yeah. And they did Thunderbirds, which was a shooter. Shoot 'em up And Friday the 13th, wait, did they make, actually, they did not make Friday the 13th. I've mistakenly claimed, or what I've seen from many sources, that they made it. They didn't. Atlas made Friday the 13th. Surprising, huh? Yeah. I mean, they did Karate Kid, so I could see that. Uh. But, yeah, I know. But, hey, you know, just like how they all have in common, very good music, definitely with Die Hard. Uh, Junichi Sato, great composer with for pac and Video. And, yeah, good game, I would say. I think I would like it. I, would, I genuinely would probably enjoy it, and I would probably give it a 7 out of 10 as well. All right. And there you go. Uh, for my next LP, Barney for the NES. No. Or, for I'm, S2K uh, Kids. Next LP, next low budget. Let's check out for S2K Kids. Nah, we're just kidding. <laughs> 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 no, Mick Kids is next. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <gasps> yes, yes, please, please. That's such a good soundtrack. <laughs> 
All right, so that is it for the LBLCO of, <laughs> of Die Hard for the NES. I'm Ron Moore. And we, guy. God, God bless and take care. <laughs> I just die hard laughing. Yippee-ki-yay, mother...